Barbie's dream house? Well, Teresa's actually. She's the brown version of Barbie, my version. It's my great grandparents' home, the house I grew up in. It's old, but I made it new, like a fresh coat of nail polish. I turned trash into treasure. My grandpa taught me. My grandpa's soul was green, like a perfectly manicured lawn. He was meticulous and innovative, a master gardener, chess player, and my hero. He taught me that needs outgrow things. Just like needs and people, things with a little love and care can evolve too. The little old house that's been around for generations had rooms with cracked peeling paint that I turned into colorful tributes to soul energies that have graced the house. It's my dream world. Everything familiar, loving, inspiring, and fortifying preserved. Every rough edge or lonely corner transformed until I turn down the music or walk out onto my porch. The world outside Barbie's dream house begs for love and care. In the front yard of my house and a block to the south, Commuter and freight trains with their loud blaring horns whiz by every seven minutes. This has been going on for 30 years of my life, and with my selective hearing power, I've managed to shut out the noise. Three blocks away to the north, cars whiz down the elevated I-70 interstate as you drive toward the eastern plains. You can't see me sitting on my porch, struggling to breathe because of exhaust. A block to the east is Jerry's, the corner store. Jerry and his family are practically my family. In the store, I learned the powerlessness and humiliation of being poor, having stolen, begged, and ironically, having also earned my first paycheck there. This is a place where I feel the pride and power of my whole life and community. Jerry's and so many other sacred places are threatened by marijuana grow houses that occupy old warehouses. These weed businesses are protected by barbed wire, tall fencing, and video cameras watching me 24 seven. No wonder I feel like a stranger on my own block. My grandfather taught me to turn trash into treasure. My eyes are glued to investors and other outsiders who seek to wait us out until we leave. Then, they want to come in with their black magic and destroy the things that are priceless. Vibrantly colored spaces, healthy neighbors in the streets, children running freely and safely in the parks, stores with food that nurture our cultures and bodies. My magic is protecting treasures and deep connections to a part of Denver many people want to forget. It is who I am. It is who we are. Love.